Hello, my name is Pilot Janis. I'm a solution specialist with Engage Incorporated, uh, specializing in business intelligence and uh, CRM and sales. And we're going to be talking about budgeting with Excel 2010. The approach that we're going to be taking here is talking about basically enterprise budgeting, enterprise reporting, and the ability for Excel and, and SQL Server Analysis Services to help a CFO manage the budgeting, their manage their spreadsheets and budgeting across the organization. The problem we have is with a complex budget with uh, dozens of line items and dozens of departments is that budgeting, even here in, in 2010, is generally managed by simply emailing out a bunch of spreadsheets and getting them back. I've talked to cabinet level agencies where their budget process is emailing out spreadsheets and getting them back. The problem we, we have here is that once they're gotten back, they're combined by hand. And first of all, you have, you have the problems of copy and paste errors, um, transposition errors. And in fact, in, in one example, one enterprise that we talked to, we found that they don't even bother with the emailing spreadsheets out and getting them back apart because they had 27 different um, organi sub-organizations. It was simply too difficult to take these spreadsheets, get them back, and combine them. So they basically budgeted by executive fiat. They would take the budgets from last year for each department, look at the inputs from the departments, um, look at, you know, what's going to change this year, what they might have that's different, um, whether it be a spending line item that's going to be ending or a new initiative that's going to be starting, and they would manually change the budget for that department up or down and then send it out, and the department would then have to argue back um, based on what they got from the distribution. So it was not a collaborative process at all. It was, it was budget by um, executive decree, and this, of course, creates a lot of unhappiness and a lot of difficulty for departments, as opposed to being able to adjust their own budgets, work with them, um, and most importantly, uh, move money from one area to another based on their requirements. All that capability is taken away when it's simply a matter of the uh, CFO sending out and saying, this is your budget, uh, accept it. In addition, whether it's a collaborative effort or executive effort with feedback, it's slow. It's basically fire and forget in a lot of times, or fire and wait for an answer, I should say. Um, the, the spreadsheets are sent out, the distributions are sent out, and then you have to keep track of who's replied, follow up on the various um, follow-ups, and find out what's going to be coming back. As I mentioned, it's error prone. Uh, if you're adjusting things by hand, if you're changing numbers, if you're typing, um, you can miss a zero. Uh, if you type one million, you might end up with 10 million, you might end up with 100,000. Um, so these types of things can really affect what's going to happen to the budget. And although an order of 10, you know, an order of magnitude error is unlikely to make it all the way through the process, on the other hand, typing a 1.6 instead of a 1.7 may slip through unnoticed until at the very end. And I think everybody's heard horror stories about budgets that were basically, once they're locked in, uh, a department will find out that they, you know, they're $100,000 short of what they're expecting, whether it be because of a trim or, in some cases, an actual error. Finally, there's no transparency into the system. Each budget gets, each department gets their own budget. They have no visibility into what other departments are doing. Um, departmental heads or, or branch heads are going to have a tough time managing their own collections of departments. The whole thing is just basically a matter of when the budget shows up, you get what you get, and you don't have any kind of feeling for what's been put in or what's been taken out. So to solve the problem, we recommend um, with Excel 2010 and uh, analysis services, there's an ability to, to shift to a client-server approach for budgeting. Basically, a budget in itself, you know, it can be, a, if especially talking from a, a balance books type thing or um, a ledger book type approach, you'll have hundreds or even thousands of line items, all these transactions, uh, all this stuff at the transactional level that you're not interested in. But what if you could roll that up? So you take all the transactions for a given department and you roll them up into, into accounts, and you can actually then just look at the high-level breakdown of a budget and then tweak it as you want to. So from a client-server perspective, instead of the CFO mailing out spreadsheets, they can basically mail out reminders or possibly a link and say, here's your budget, go in, adjust it, and make comments. 
So then the receiving CFO, you know, departmental CFO or, or a branch CFO, then opens up a view into their budget, and they basically can then review it in a manner, in a spreadsheet form that looks familiar to them, tweak the numbers, adjust the numbers, um, you know, add, value, add, add amounts here or there, see how it all balances out. And from there, um, once they're done, publish the changes, and then the, the CFO at the organization level can then roll that all together without having to copy and paste and simply review the overall budget for the, the uh, entire organization. So the big thing here is that, for one thing, we're using Excel as a report or a thin client front end and not as storage. Um, another problem we have with the CFO mailing out spreadsheets and getting them back is there's actually a lot of institutional knowledge in the spreadsheets that are being mailed out that's not captured, it can't be reviewed, it can't be audited, it can't be tracked. Whereas if we're working on a client server basis, all this information is aggregated and can be reported on. And finally, standardized reporting, as I mentioned, um, again, from the departmental th um, point of view, especially if you're managing budget by executive fiat, where each budget, each department manages their own budget and sends it in, it, sometimes what will happen is departments will change their budgets to suit their own needs, send them back to the organizational head, and he gets back a whole collection of spreadsheets that are in, in a dozen different formats and has to collect them, as opposed to having a standardized point perspective that can be pulled back and, and viewed. So for this, we're going to use on the back end SQL Server Analysis Services. This is basically a, a, a data mart OLAP type um, solution. And what we want to do is, especially if we work in the transactional to budgetary mode, we can actually take prior year's transactional or budget book type um, approaches, roll them up and aggregate them, and provide data marts that will then show a rolled up view for use in budgeting. And I'll show this in the demo, it'll make a little sense. Um, again, distributing reports and not spreadsheets. Um, although what we're doing is we're using Excel kind of as a report, but we can also build reports on top of these data marts and publish them out. Um, and then what we want to do is enable end users um, with the proper credentials to write back and adjust and publish the numbers as, we, as necessary. And then on top of that, because we're managing the budget now in a centralized server mode, then we can also build reports on top of this. We can leverage SharePoint for workflow, um, build reports, and then also Excel for analysis. So, um, it, you know, that's, it's enough discussion about where I'd like to do now is switch to a demo and make it a little bit easier. It'll be um, more straightforward once you can see 